Hello and welcome to Castle New France. Now, I know this is a time lapse, but I wanted to take a moment here just to take in this map. It's a spectacular map. I mean, it's it's absolutely stunning. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, I use a lot of mods from MA7. This map is actually from them. It just came out on uh, july 7th uh, so it's brand new and i will have a link in the description where you can download it however it because it's a 4x map it will only be for pc unfortunately uh, it's just a limitation they have there now we are going to do a time lapse for this series uh it's just before we start that i want to do a quick little tour of through part of the castle just to kind of show off a couple of things we're up here, I guess you call the middle courtyard. Um, up this, that path there goes to the top of the castle. Um, but there's this well here. And, you know, if you ever play this map, I recommend checking it out. It, it's kind of interesting because if you kind of lean over, you just make sure you don't fall in. But you kind of start hearing some voices, which is a little interesting. Um, anyway, so up here at the very top, um we have a trebuchet and we have some more views of this spectacular map um but yeah it's uh it's pretty amazing so uh we're gonna head down to the truck and yep i'm still hearing little voices coming from there maybe we'll check that out at some point um, but yeah, we're going to head down to the truck and head over to the farm and we will get started in the time lapse um, for the most part in this episode, we're going to do time lapse, but I will probably, uh, do a little walk through the farm and talk about kind of the plans for this time lapse. But beyond that, for the rest of the episodes, it will just be a time lapse. Uh, so let's, uh, head down here and yeah, this village, extremely well detailed. Um, I mean, that this map is huge. But the really amazing part of this map is that almost every part of it is really detailed. Like, it is insanely detailed um, throughout the entire map, which uh, I, I don't know how long it took them to make this map, but I'm guessing it was probably several years. Um, but yeah, we're going to head into the truck, and we'll just uh, do a little time lapse here to the farm. We'll do a tour of the farm, and then we'll go to the full time lapse. All right, we are pulling up to the farm here, and yeah, that bridge is beautiful. Um, but the uh, cow pasture actually goes underneath that bridge, which that bridge is just, it's just stunning. And the level of detail on it is amazing. But yeah, so our, uh, our cow barn here up here on the left, actually that build, that pasture goes all the way out to the, underneath that bridge. So it is a extremely huge cow pasture. Uh, but let's pull up here. This is actually our uh, house and, and the farmyard. Uh, so the house here is on the left. We've got a little uh, overpass here, which we will check that out in a moment. Um, but on the back side of the house, we have a little, I guess, patio courtyard. And it is a really nice, relaxing place to kind of just sit here you know, come outside after a long day and just sit here, you know, have a drink and watch the chickens. And yes, we do have chickens. Um, the house, though, really detailed. It's amazing. 
and the textures on these buildings is just phenomenal. Uh, but let's head in here. So this uh, building here is primarily for the sheep. Uh, we have uh, our little trigger here for feeding the sheep. We're gonna drop our hay or grass bells in there. Uh, we have a little tanker here for um, taking the milk from the cow pen across the road there. And we also have our mixing wagon and a bunch of pallets of mineral feed. Now at this door here, go back into the little hallway and then we're going to go outside here and uh, let me close this door. Now here we have um, the entrance into the sheep yard or pasture and it is also pretty large and it actually loops around to the other side of the farmyard and it's just a really cool concept. I really like that and just see little small details like that just make it amazing. Plus the landscape on this map is just wow. So let's uh, go across this little bridge here. And this part up here is the second floor of the sheep pen where we store all of our grass or hay bales. We have a bell wagon, a telehandler, and then yeah, right here where we put all our bells in. But this is actually kind of cool. We have these uh, little trap doors here you can open up and you can drop your bells down into the, that's the entryway. Um, also, and I did a horrible job of parking our bell trailer. <laughs> you didn't see that. Um, but we can drop our bells down there and that drops right into the, uh, the sheep trigger for feeding the sheep. So we can just drop our bells down there. Make sure this door's closed. All right, and this is our sorghum field. And we do have a couple of fields. We don't have anything super big right now. Um, this map is huge, but we don't have a lot of large fields right now. There are large fields, but we're going to start here with the uh, first with the cow shed. And this is kind of our little milking area here for milking the cows. And let me just open this door and head into the actual cow barn itself. And yeah, it's it holds a lot of cows and it actually can hold a lot more than what it says. So we, we might play with that a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is the cow pasture. And my saying it was huge. I mean, it is huge. It goes way out there, like way out there. So it can definitely hold a lot more than what it currently says. So we'll play with that and just to make it a little bit more uh, um, fitting. Um, got our manure pit here, and then that's where we feed the cows. And then uh, we have a slurry pit there on the right. And then I did add this. This is actually a mod from MA7. And I did went ahead and added it to the map because I needed a place to put the harvester and the forage wagon. And yeah, this uh, shed, I think it fits really well with the rest of the buildings and the landscape. And there is a little place up here where we could store a bunch of bells if we wanted to. We'd have to use the telehandler for that, but or pallets or something. And I did put all the uh, fertilizer and lime into here. And we also have a tractor with a front loader. Uh, we can use that to get you know the bags out and get our uh, lime and fertilizer out. Close that up here. Um, so that's uh, pretty much this. We have a little silo here. It does not hold very much. It's 36,000 liters. My plan is to use that for wheat so we can have some place to store food for the chickens. Now, this has two gigantic uh, silage clamps, and that will come in handy um, if we focus on grass we'll, or corn. We'll be able to make a lot of silage. Now, this is the other side of the house here. This is the actually the other side of the chicken bin inside where we you know feed the chickens and they're doing pretty well and then we have a little garage there let me go and open it up here for you so this is actually the garage we can park our car here i'm just not going to do that right now um but we have a uh, sprayer here uh filled up with herbicide and this tank is actually also for uh, filled up with herbicide. We could use it for liquid fertilizer, but we're currently using it for uh, herbicide. And that's our two spreaders. And then we got our mower 
and a trailer and then uh, two of our tractors, which are actually pretty large tractors. It seems like a small yard, but it actually isn't that small and it's very maneuverable. So we're able to use larger tractors, which is nice. And we got our uh, cedar here, our planter, we got a manure spreader, a slurry spreader. I uh, got a windrow and tether uh, for making hay and we got a baler. Um, and then we also have a, uh, a bell shredder for uh, giving the cows straw. Um, but yeah, this is our sheep pasture. And let me just head down here because this is kind of cool. You can go inside there. But here's our sheep pasture and it does loop around the whole yard. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the entire yard. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, hop in here. And yeah, this is a 9340. This is like the big tractor. So yeah, there's plenty of room to use it. You know, I mean, there's some limitations on the yard, but we can fit pretty much everything we need. Uh, I did swap out some of the uh, equipment that came with the farm. I uh, just to go a little bit bigger because some of these uh, fields are on pretty steep slopes. Oh, uh, let's check out this here real quick. I almost forgot. Uh, with the farm, we also have a uh, cheese dairy. And uh, yeah, that is it's, that just looks amazing. The level of detail and like in the, the walls and the pillars. And look at that is pretty awesome. But this dairy actually makes butter. But for cheese, it takes nuts. We don't have nut trees, but down the road we'll probably get some nut trees um but yeah so what's happening here because we have a field that needs to be harvested our canola field there's a lot of weeds but you know it's too late now we can't do anything about that so we're going to harvest it with the weeds so let's hop in the harvester and we're going to get the time lapse started now
I'm all in, it's all on the table, let's sink or swim, I'm ready to lay it on the line, on the line, yeah, but it's like every move I get shut down, I'm down for the count, falling to the ground, now you gotta tell me just what you want, just what you want, just what you want, and don't let me walk on broken water, don't make me put So much more while you're giving less I'm shaking my head while I'm counting down I'm counting down, yeah But I remember a time when our hearts burned We held back the night and we on the world Can we find a way back? Find a way back Can we find a way back? And don't let me walk on broken water Don't make me push it any further Wanna make it wrong? I'm trying to hold on, so please. Turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody 
Take a breath. Let me be a part of something real. Mm-hmm. Someone said it's better when you hold on to a helping hand. Sometimes we could all use a friend. Pieces, hey, you'll be alright. You'll be alright.